So what you'll need for this recipe is some broccoli florets, some salt and pepper to taste, rice, some Velveeta cheese. We're only going to use about half of that. Um, some cream of mushroom soup. Some sharp cheddar shredded cheese. You can use mild uh, if you want to. And this is an optional ingredient. Um, I like to add smoked sausage to my casserole. Uh, you could probably add shredded chicken, ground beef even, ground turkey, or just make it as it is. Just make plain broccoli rice casserole. It's delicious without any meat in it. Whatever you want. We're gonna add two cups of water, one cup of rice, two tablespoons of butter, and a dash of salt. Oh, that was a little more than a dash, but you only need a dash. You're gonna cook this on medium heat and allow it to boil. Once it starts to boil, cover and lower your heat and simmer for 15 minutes. Once the rice begins to boil, lower your heat and cover. Let this simmer for about 15 minutes. So now we're gonna get our broccoli ready. I'm using these organic. I think this is just a Walmart brand. And uh, I'm gonna make mine in the microwave. So just follow the instructions that come with your broccoli and go ahead and cook those. I think these you put in the microwave for like four minutes. All right, we took about half of that block of Velveeta cheese. Now we're gonna, we're gonna cube this. So we're gonna cut this into little cubes. Just like that. I place my cheese in a glass dish. I'm gonna start adding in my ingredients. So here's my broccoli. Uh, when you first take this out of the microwave, cut like a small corner to get all the juice out of there. You don't want that in your casserole. Add your rice. cream of mushroom I'm going to add in my cut up smoked sausage Little bit of salt. You do not need a lot of salt, especially if you're gonna add in smoked sausage because that sausage is salty enough. And I add in quite a bit of pepper, several, several dashes of pepper. We're gonna stir this up and place it in the oven at 350 degrees for, I don't know, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes basically allow that Velveeta cheese to melt a little bit and then we're going to take it out stir it stir it again and add some shredded cheese to the top so now that our cheese has melted we're going to stir this up real good and then we're going to add our cheese on top After I mix this, I mix this pretty good um, until it was well combined. And you're gonna spread it out flat. 
and make sure you you kind of give this a little taste test to make sure it doesn't need you know more salt or pepper get it how you like it um, but make sure you taste it before you add any salt because you don't want it too salty because like I said the uh, the sausage is gonna add plenty plenty salt if you added smoked sausage if you didn't then you know do you all right so make this kind of flat even out your casserole so we don't want a lumpy casserole now I'm going to add in my shredded cheese and I guess add my casserole is, well it's pretty big add probably about two cups one and a half to two cups of cheese on top we're gonna stick this back in the oven at 350 degrees until our cheese is melted and bubbly on top 